Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, just thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, Please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, even if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe, you want to be able to share that with somebody, please go ahead and do that. It would be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oak is keeping your eyes on the prize. Clarity uh, shows that you have been the prize from the beginning. And that is so true. You know, um, right now we're going through a, a lot of a, a power huge intense uh, transformation in our lives where we don't know where it's leading us to um, you're going through these different things where you know universe and God you know uh, in, any spiritual connections that you have or in, in influences it gives you that visual uh, of what your life can be like and a lot of times we doubt that because of the different circumstances the struggles you know the constant setbacks the failures you know the doubts the what ifs you know comes through but they'll give you they're not going to never leave a, a promise un, undone you know um and a lot of times you know i've gone through different things why well, i have to remind myself of that you are in a a turn into your life that you can open a door if you really allow yourself to be persistent on yourself. You can open a door as to places that you never, you know, never thought you would qualify for. You, you know, you never know where your 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 name is being said at. There's somebody that is that talks about you in in a high vibration. Like this person is really, you know, been through some stuff, but I've seen the transformation they have gone through, and I, I really need you to check this person out. I need you to speak to that person you know be able to vibe with them because there's a lot of times that people like i've said before and you you know that through experience if you're a hey oka you know you're a walking trigger to a lot of people even it, it's sad because it, it can even take place within our own our tribe you know within our individuals it can do that there will be different visions that you may be getting different experiences you may be having that another person feel like you know um especially if they you know you just started going through your your you, you've had different experience where you question like what the heck is going on or you probably didn't even realize it until you went through that situation where it's telling you this is what you are because a lot of times we feel like why is this happening out of the blue no it's not happening out of the blue they were preparing you for this since before your birth you know they've been doing that you just there's different practices things that was like you know a change of hands that has happened to you into your life that you may not have felt like it was significant or important but then when it came to that you know I know especially in my life I'm like why is this out of the blue you know why is this you know my mom would take me to different practitioners uh, that not practitioners but different shamans I don't want to say practitioners because sometimes practitioners they can be seen in negative light <laughs> you know I'm not going to say my mom would do that to me but my mom was always very overprotective of me you know she was uh uh, half Native American so it was just a lot of different things you know especially where we were at we were a lot a, a lot of uh, Native American uh, soil so she would take me to different places this different reservations different people that we were connected through you know through my adopted family or just from people that she knew you know go to different uh, stores you know reservations that hold their own uh, Native American stores and stuff like that and it would give me different trinkets you know different bracelets you know turquoise rings and stuff you know head dresses and stuff like that you know that my mom would keep for me you know all those different things um that was taking place and it is just like you know you're, you're hearing that a lot keep your eye on the prize you know you're getting different um different situations where it's giving you a visual what can come true into your life different things that you can uh, form into your life that can be very prosperous for you you know but you're going through that to where it's going to be that challenge within yourself you know um keeping that within yourself to know this it, you know it may be challenging to you but this is something that is showing you a part of yourself that you may not been aware of you know you go through different things in your life and it it's just like when I can allow myself to see, you know, I've changed a lot. 
you know, there may be different negative circumstances I may be still dealing with and allowing myself to be open. Like, you know, I may be still dealing with this negative vibration, but I'm seeing how much my, my you know, my self-talk within myself from my experiences has really allowed me to broaden my, my positive perspective on that. Being able to appreciate, you know, what those experiences taught me, what I've learned, what I've healed, what I've overcome, you know, what I'm, you know, I'm still dealing with, but I'm seeing is very possible for me, is very prosperous for me. And just being able to exercise that, that vibration and being able to say, you know, it showed me how much of myself that I've grown. There are so parts of myself that I didn't allow myself to connect with in that way. Or I didn't allow myself to understand myself in that vibration because it was so many different negative vibrations that was trying to con contradict me or trying to convince me of other things of myself that I had to allow myself to disconnect from. You know, allowing myself to know my value within myself. And those are the things that's showing you, you know, you, you see the value within yourself. You know, especially if you're dealing with a lot of different things that's trying to block you from you know better into your life there's a lot of different things or you you know you can feel eyes on you you can feel things being placed on your existence you know your essence and stuff like that because they know there's a lot of us well shoot all of us that are in this connection even the enemies they don't real well they are a part of that as well um and not saying anything negative about the enemy but it's just like they are a big part of that of you conquering a lot of things they just don't know that you know there's a lot of different things and I say that to anybody if, if there's anything you have to manipulate in that way it wasn't meant to be you know there's a lot of times people will take that anger out on us about certain situations why couldn't that be me they stole my spot they couldn't steal nothing from you everybody has their own journey you can't judge yourself you can't compare yourself and a lot of people have done that shoot I've done it at times you know why you know my life had to be this way you know I didn't pick this I didn't want that you know but I I, I knew I had a purpose you know I still know I have a purpose and you know you're following that through every experience that you go through you have your highs your lows you have your good days your bad days you have your days where everything is just hitting top notch for you and there'll be days that you got constant step back have to step back like if I have one more thing to pop off and next you know something else pop off you know and it's all about the vibrations that you keep you know if you're looking at everything into your life you know a lot of times we can look at everything and it's always about what we lack and then it can be a time in our lives where you can take that and you pet talk is like hey change my way of thinking change the vibrations that I'm projecting out towards myself this situation or these circumstances are allowing me to really see what kind of positive concept that I can really take take place into my life that's going to take me to places I never know I can go to. Or these are the different things that happen into my life that allows me to see in a deeper way of what I can create through my, my choice of choosing. You know, it's all about, and it's just a lot of times, it's all about the vibration we keep up. You know, a lot of times we feel like, you know, especially, you know, a lot of people are talking about, you know, voodoo and hoodoo and rituals and curses. You know, a lot of things, you can feel it at times. You know, people doing stuff on you. And it's just the best way to cure that is being consistent with yourself. Because anything you, you have to, and a lot of times we have to understand, it, it could be a moment where you're going to life and you're really doubting yourself. And it, it could be like, you know, I know those people put something on me. I know this. Regardless if they put something on you, you're always protected. We have to get out of that time of saying, you know, these people are doing something and we're always protected. These are different things that had to take place into our life. And a lot of times you don't realize when they're placing something on you, this is something that is going to help you. They realize, A lot of times they feel like this is something that's going to hurt you, but God's going to use it in a way that's going to help you grow. This is going to help you empower yourself. And they really don't know that. They're speeding up that process. Like God is already going to take you down those situations. But anytime God will tell you you are protected. Because there's a lot of people I see that go through. And, and you're seeing yourself is in this, in, in this uh, like a shield or a snow globe. Where there's different things that's coming to you. And it'll, it may touch base with you. Like if these things are coming down on you like that. 
these are going to be the things that's going to help you heal. These are going to be the things that broadens your perspective, not just about yourself, but out but by others, by your life, by your path, by your purpose, and all these different things. You know, and it'll get to that point where you may hate your enemy. And they always say love your enemy. And I had to learn that. Love your enemy. Because a lot of times I'd be really, really ready to want to handle my enemies out there. Like, you know, I want to connect with you face to face. <laughs> you know, I've been like that. But now it's at that point. I appreciate what you did. Because there's a lot of things that opened my eyes just about my life. Because there's a lot of things that you know when you you can, can place a fear in somebody. You know, I always felt like. If they fear me and they intimidate me, why are they trying so hard to bring me down? You know, when you, because you would think that when people fear you, they go the other way. But there's a lot of times people fear you where they feel like that person needs to be destroyed. That person needs to be silenced. Because I'll see a lot of times where you're, when you're being honest with yourself and you're speaking and you're being productive, all of a sudden your throat chakra start messing up. You start having headaches to where it feels like you're getting blocked because there'll be different, your, your, your throat gives you a voice you know what i'm saying even though it's like duh rosin it gives you that voice to speak power your power is in your words you know that's what i was trying to say your powers are in your words you know whatever you choose to project out whatever you choose to say if you know you're using loving powerful words like being able to tell somebody you may be struggling today but it's, it's preparing you a win for tomorrow if you know you're going through a, a setback this is going to prepare you for a positive comeback if you're going through a failure this is preparing you for a powerful win it's always something that is put being placed in your life to magnify it for something else it's always preparing you for something else but it's all always about the existence on how we choose to shadow that you know it, it could be like we, we we doubt ourselves and it's just because you're shadowing your power you know you doubt yourself so you you're you're second guessing your existence you know um you're allowing what other people say to to detriment be detrimental towards your life because you're not allowing yourself to define you you know whatever situation as you were you know i used to always live through my circumstances my pain what it was going through but it was just like this is not defining me what i conquer what has been placed on me that's where the game changer is that's where i'm the victor to be i'm not going to be a victim of my circumstances but i'm about to be a victor over my circumstances you know what you're going through you don't have to sit up here and you know i used to be want to be happy when i was getting towards that vibration of wanting to share that with other people and it was not something about being brag you know being bragful or whatever or wanting to rub it in somebody's face like hey i got this or whatever or i'm on this and it'll be just something that i'm excelling in and they uh, i had to learn from the hard way like you can't be joyful because not everybody want to share that joy with you not everybody want to see you win there's a lot of people that will stay close to you just to see how they can put a rock in your program a riff in your flow you know a speed bump in your speed <laughs> you know you have to understand that but then it'll get towards that point where you don't appreciate that because that was that weight that you needed to be able to say you know because a lot of times i used to get mad like why the hell are these people all up in my life why are, uh, why are they if they can place weight on here to try to make sure that i can fail why don't you use that same energy to make you excel because you have it in you because you, you putting on too many ideas where you can be applying that to yourself you know don't be worried about me unless you know only thing you can take from me is take notes you know because i love to take notes from other people as well you know if i know you prosper i'll say you know what you know whatever god got for you i magnify that in in his name in your name because you deserve that i see you working you know, because I'm that, that person, I want to see everybody win. But if it's going to be somebody's fail to make you win, I'm not for that. I'm not for that. <laughs> you know, because it's not, you're not doing it in a genuine way. It wasn't something that was for you, you know, and people do that. But then it's just like you have to understand, you know, they're letting you know there's something about you that they don't want the world to see there's something about you you know anything that you're doing in god's purpose the devil is right behind to try to make sure that that don't come possible and they use people that don't want to heal they use people they always want to be greed you know it's based off of what you can take from not somebody it's not something you worked hard for 
You know, it's not something that you earn. It's just something about what you can snatch from somebody. What greed. What what things can you shadow. I want to be in the light. I want to be known. I want to be this. I want to be that. You know, and all those other things. But you are that prize. Everybody is their own prize. But it has to be that real one that can see it out of them. Within themselves. Because there's a lot of times, like I say, and it's true. Your enemies can see your prize about you than you do. Because that's the reason why they try so hard to condemn you in those ways. That's where they try so hard to make sure that you don't prosper in those ways. That's why they, they mock you on what you're doing. Or they want to be a cons comparison. Because I used to tell people, you know. I like to be around people that want to see me soar. You know, when they're doing something, they don't have no problem. You know, with saying, hey, Roz and I did this and this and that. You know, you should try to do that too. And just like uh, there may be some kind of experience that I'm having. They may not be used to. And they're trying to go through that route. Hey, I did this and this and this and that. Why don't you go ahead and do it too? You know, if you want to invest in this because it's like God, the way he going to do it. He going to magnify things. You may be on one purpose, but you're going to have three. You're going to be going in all different directions because he wants you to hit every corner that he know you can conquer. And that's what you're doing. You know, you're going through that experience. You had to be able to do it. Because it will lead you on one purpose. Because it was just what mine. When I first started, I wanted to know my family. You know, I found out about who my identity of my father and my family was. And it was just, I started off that. And then all of a sudden, I started going through not knowing all the spiritual hats I had. I didn't know what an indigo was. I just thought it was color in the name of a band. You know, Twin Flame. I didn't know what that was. I thought it was a rock band or whatever it was. Or it was a funky rock wear. I didn't know what it was. But then I started noticing these things about myself that was branching off. And didn't know this was going to be a part of my purpose. And, and then going through that and trying to help myself heal. But then being in, in a, um, front of a video while I was doing it and I had to learn from my positive from my negatives you know allowing myself to not talk bad about my family or not talk bad about the people who have done things to me but just being able to say you know universe put these people in my life just like they've been put in I've been, been, been put in their life because there's something that's going to change there's something that's going to mirror something that's going to spotlight you know something that's going to change and all those different things that it, it will be seen as a blessing one day and that's what we're doing we're going through our purpose we know that there's different things in this world that needs to change and from us going through that we had to create that change within ourselves you know we can't just want the world to do that and then we ain't doing our part because we still stuck on, on vibrations we still you know we still giving our power away to people in situations that's no longer serving us we still holding grudges and and um anger and hatred towards different people that did everything they did to, to, to you know diffuse our whole life you know and those are the things you you getting placed in certain predicaments in your life to where you know you are seen as that vessel of purpose you know you can grow you can heal you can soar you can strengthen you can power to empower all these different things are showing you what you were from the beginning you just had to go through a layer of illusions through lies programs fears limited beliefs toxic patterns toxic habits you know thoughts ways you know um you know all these different things that we choose to do and we finding it and it's being ripped away and from that you know our lives gonna feel unstable it's gonna feel hectic it's gonna feel you know out of this world to where it, it just feel like my life is falling apart but it's coming together it's coming in together in, in, a, in a way we're not used to that's why a lot of things feel uncomfortable that's why a lot of things feel un intense because of the things that we are experiencing is not something we're used to and a lot of times we get to that point where we feel like we can't go on and not realize we done leveled up like about 10 tier and we don't realize that because you're going through different situations where it's new levels different devils things may have been petty back then oh but now things is getting real rocky with you but it's telling you to keep your eye on you you know all these things is coming around you to make you you know keep your focus on that you know i was just talking about into you know another video you know it was talking about you know you you got your distractions are there to distract but when you allow yourself to be your vocal point you look in the mirror 
He's like, who's going to save you? You know, people are like, you know, I, I've been at that point. Like, this going to save me. That's going to save me. No, I'm there to save me. There's nobody there going to save you. You looking for that superhero, go look in the mirror. That's the person that's going to save you. Nobody can't get you from that. Because a lot of times we feel like we can have the worst happen to us. The wrongest thing to happen to us. And it may be that other person that went through the same thing as us. And they, they went to a certain agency. They went to a certain authority. And it hit then. That was that purpose for that to happen. But it may not happen the same way for you. Because yours, your your path goes deeper. Yours is, you know, is a little bit heavier. It'd be a little bit more chaotic, and, you know. And a lot of times we can get very envious. We can get very unstable, you know, in our vibrations when we when we can mirror certain things or there's different things that we can connect with, and we see somebody don't want, and we still working on ours. Don't. And it's just like a lot of times I've even been that way. It's like if I worked hard on something, it's just like I ain't got shit to show for it. And it's like God was like, stop thinking that way. I'm just showing you if I can do this for that person, don't think that, don't ever doubt that I can't do this for you. If you know you moving in a, in a intentional way where you got good intentions, you got pure intentions, don't think that that is not going to mirror back to you. All of, Everything right now is about karma. Being careful how you see your life. Being careful how you see your finances. How you see your purpose. How you see your healing. How you see your change. How you see the enemies. How you see yourself. It's all about what you're seeing right now. And it's doubling up. And even though it may feel like, you know, you ain't, it, it, it's got eerily quiet. And that's the most scariest thing you got to worry about. It's eerily quiet. But it, they always tell you, you know, even though you may not, because there have been times where I've said, even to people, or I even say here, you know, I can put out good intentions and I keep getting BS back. This is not what I put out. And it's just like, it may not have been what you put out, but this is clearing you. There's maybe different things in your life that you needed to have clear from your life. There may be some wrongs that you needed to have right right now. You know, everything you're going through right now, some of it's coming from 2010. Some of them coming from 19 years ago, from 20 years ago. And you clearing all that out right now. So when you step foot in that kingdom of uh, prosperity, abundance, you know, uh, anything, blessings, it's like it's going to nothing dirty nothing harsh nothing negative is going to be able to touch that you going to learn from those situations you going to appreciate the doors that was open for you you going to also appreciate the doors that didn't open for you you know everything that you're going through if you have receipts for every little door you don't step on because there's a lot of times God will tell you I need you to knock on this door but I need you to knock on that door. It'll be a blessing. But you keep going towards those doors. And they're telling you. You keep saying. Why you keep sending me to these doors. And they're not blessings. These are not blessings. If they're not opening for me. These are blessings where people ain't trying to talk to me. And it's just trying to understand. You are that blessing. That you see no matter how many times those doors didn't open. You still gave another chance. You hold faith in me. You held faith in yourself. Even though you may have doubted. Saying oh Lord this is going to be another door. Or you might have been happy. Where it felt like everything said yes 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 and it still is it don't mean it was denied it was just delayed until you get into that that complete alignment for that and that's what you're doing you don't realize that it could be that exact turn to get you on that correct alignment right now and you don't know it could be tomorrow it can be next week it can be next month it can be two weeks from now but you're not far from it because it's like things is coming into your life and the mess is getting very heavy it's getting very chaotic and everything is happening for a reason and then there's a lot of things where God is like you'll hear it if I didn't turn that heat up you'll stay comfortable with that if I you know you you may be trying to pray for this relationship to stay stable but everything keep going hitting hell for you because God don't have that that relationship was supposed to change you it wasn't supposed to keep you connected to that person you you'll never be good enough for a person that ain't worth being that don't see your worth in that don't see your value in that because there's going to be somebody who's going to realize that you know there's going to be a time where you know it is going to say you you know you hear that saying don't be upset when you see somebody appreciate something you took for granted you know that experience that you're going through in that relationship is preparing you 
You know, a man could be going through a rough relationship where where you can really be trying for a woman and you always and always feel like the last guy finished last. This means this poem will prepare you for the first, but it's gonna prepare you for something that a woman gonna see your your you know, gonna see your attributes. This woman gonna see your flaws and love them. They're gonna accept you the way you are. They're gonna, you know, appreciate you, show you that you needed they needed you in your life. Not needed is like you they needed you completed, but you are that person I supposed to have in my life and I appreciate what you're doing for me. I appreciate those kind gestures. Just those little things that you do to make me smile. Just those little things to get my heart to skip a beat. And there'll be one woman where she's saying it and she's just like, I've been that type of person where I've had something good into my life. And it was like I was so used to people doing me wrong. I messed up my whole situation. And it was just like, but it wasn't, I wasn't ready for that at that time. Now it's like at that point where I've been to myself and I submit, you know, I stayed to myself and been celibate. You know, it allowed me to see what I wanted in my life. It allowed me to see what I will entertain, what I'm not going to deal with, what I will deal with, what I will nurture, what I will just dead in the connection. You know, and just appreciate it. I appreciate the people that didn't do me a right. I appreciate the ones that took me for granted. Then it showed me what what I didn't need in my life. What I needed to allow myself to just hey, you know, I, I did my you know I did enough to try to convince that person I was gonna be there, but they weren't seeing that. Their their eyes were somewhere else. So my eyes need to be somewhere else too. I only can stay focused on me. You know, they weren't trying to do that for them. But I appreciate what they showed me. Everything that you're going through right now is giving you a growth. Everything is showing you you are that vessel of a prize that can really go somewhere. But it's up to you. It's all about everything lies up to you. Not somebody else, what they're doing, what they stand focused on. If people want to stay focused on you, stay fo let them stay focused on you. And just allow them to see how far you're going to go. You ain't got to tell them. You, even if they're trying to doubt you, allow them to doubt you. Allow them to feel that they're doing something in your life. Allow them to feel like they're, you know, they're tearing you down. It's okay. You stay focused on you, what you're doing. And you keep that to yourself. You keep your moves in private. You know, allow yourself to keep going because this is going to be your year. You know, and they always say, it, you know, it was like 20, 2021 was a bad year. And if you were, if you're making the same moves you were last year is going to be the same kind this year but god is not allowing you to do that your soul is not letting you do that your higher self is not letting you do that like come on now come on come on come on we got things we got to do we got you know we got adventures we ready to connect you with but you have to be ready to do that you have to make the, some decisions you got to make these moves for that to happen you keeping your eye on the prize and you knowing you are the prize from the very beginning so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all much love to you you know Thank you for the support. It's truly appreciated. Thank you for the shares. It's truly appreciated. You know, it, I really love that. And thank you for the comments. I have not responded to y'all's comments. And I do apologize for that. But, um, you know, I'm about to get to it now. You know, well, after I finish doing the stuff that I have to do. It's just been, you know, one of those self-reflective few days. So, you know, I'm getting back to it. Getting, trying to get on my job. So, much love to you. Like I said, I keep um, my contact information in the description box below. There's a lot of times people want to connect with me and talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, which I love to do. And I um, that's one of my other many purposes that I do is connect with people one-on-one. -on -one. You may not feel comfortable with speaking on different things you may be going through on the tube of you. So, people, you know, connect with me and try to get their my insight, you know. Uh, my feedback on you know certain things that they may be going through that just seem you know out of the blue or it could feel not normal or is it normal that I always tell people we're not normal we're very rare individuals you know there's very there's things we that we do is very uh very like kind of like once in a lifetime thing so it, it's just like you're a hybrid you there's a lot of different things that you do is it's going to be above average so you know, I try to help out the best way I can with those experiences through, you know, uh, through the insight that universe gives me or through my experience as well. And I also keep my um, 
my uh, link to my podcast as well on there as well. You know, and you can uh, listen to the different videos. It's like it is it's the same thing except it's on audio. You know, it's not the same videos or whatever, but it's on different audio on Spotify as well. So, um, and I also leave my um, cash app there if you ever feel you know uh, generous to go ahead and give a donation. It would be greatly appreciated. So I hope that you you know whatever your uh, manis is that you're working on to be able to let you know it's going to be spectacular for you you know if you've been going through a drought you've been going through different setbacks you've been going through uh not even barely made it over the hump god and universe have something really prepared for you that's going to be very magical it's going to be very beautiful it's going to be something that's going to bring you to your knees it's not going to be something you expected and it could be quicker than you ever predicted as well so, you know, you keep working on it, you know, even if you're taking ba baby steps, those baby steps can t take you in a bigger direction than you ever, uh, ever imagined. So, you know, keep moving, you know, keep allowing yourself to go there because it is really promising for you. You know, you are the prize. So, uh, you know, keep being safe and responsible at everything you do, even through social distancing. Please make sure you give love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. Those things will really take smile a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.